Hello everyone, welcome to my class. I'm your teacher for today, Teacher Suki Ann Beharin. If you are an education student or an aspiring licensed professional teacher someday, then I already know why you are here. And yes, you are just in the right instructional video. For today's lesson, we will learn about Bloom's Revised Taxonomy. What is Bloom's Taxonomy? It is a hierarchical ordering of cognitive skills that can help teachers and students to learn. It composed of six components starting from the bottom, knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. The question is, why is it revised? Bloom's former students Lorin Anderson and Kratwell revised the Bloom's taxonomy in the mid-90s to fit in the outcome-focused modern education objectives in which education should be student-centered and faculty-driven. Under the components of Bloom's revised taxonomy are remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. The difference of the two is that Bloom's taxonomy uses noun while the revised taxonomy are verbs which makes it more defined. There is also an arrangement on the order of the two highest levels. In knowledge or remembering, students should remember the previously learned lesson. For example, after Mam Ann's discussion, Kali was finally able to identify the different branches of science. She already has knowledge about it because Mam Ann taught about the different branches of science. Verbs appropriate to use are identify, relate, list, define, recall, memorize, repeat, recognize, acquire, etc. In comprehension or understanding, students should have the ability to grasp or construct meaning from the lesson. For example, in Miss Bella's class, students should recite and JC was called. Miss Bella told JC to describe the process of fertilization. Verbs appropriate to use are recognize, explain, express, discuss, describe, illustrate, interpret, etc. In application or applying, students should be able to apply knowledge to actual situations. For example, in a physics class, Joy should be able to calculate the acceleration of an object. She would go through the process of problem solving and deriving formulas to finally get. Verbs appropriate to use are apply, relate, develop, operate, organize, restructure, demonstrate, practice, calculate, dramatize, etc. In analysis or analyzing, students should have the ability to break down objects or ideas into simpler parts. For example, in a physics class, Jana should be able to differentiate speed, velocity, and acceleration. She should know the differences of those terms. Verbs appropriate to use are analyze, compare, inquire, examine, contrast, categorize, investigate, classify, discriminate, separate, etc. In evaluation or evaluating, students should be able to make or defend judgments based on internal evidence or external criteria. For example, in a debate class, Students should be able to defend their sides and state facts to criticize their opponent. Verbs appropriate to use are judge, assess, compare, evaluate, argue, criticize, validate, conclude, etc. For the last component, synthesis or creating, students should be able to compile component ideas into a new whole. For example, in an architecture class, students should be able to create a design of a building. Verbs appropriate to use are compose, produce, design, 
assemble, generalize, document, collect, formulate, etc. Hope you have learned from our today's lesson and hope to see you on my next lesson. Until next time, ciao!